Hey guys, excited to continue uh, this Wednesday just talking about the names of God and just taking a look at his character and who he is. And so today I want to start off with a question. Maybe even in the midst of this coronavirus situation or another time in your life, have you ever felt just lonely, uh, distraught, discouraged, maybe even fearful? I think we all get to that point at different times in our lives and today we're going to take a look at a situation where a woman felt that way. In Genesis chapter 16 uh, we see Hagar and Hagar is the servant of Sarah, Abraham's wife. And she finds herself in a tough situation. See God had promised Abraham a son but he and Sarah were very old and so instead of trusting God they decided to come up with their own plan and try and make things work by themselves. And so they come up with this plan where uh, Sarah sends Hagar, her servant, in to sleep with Abraham and try and get pregnant that way. And so she goes in and she sleeps with Abraham and sure enough, uh, she gets pregnant. But the problem is that makes Sarah jealous. And so what Sarah does is she begins to mistreat Hagar. She begins to um, just be scornful to her, unkind to her. And so what Hagar does is she runs away. And so she finds herself in this situation where she is alone, where she is afraid, where she is discouraged. And in those situations, I think we often ask ourselves, where's God in all this? Where is the sovereign Lord, Adonai, that we talked about last week that's supposed to be in control? Where is our loving creator who's supposed to work all things out for our good? Where is he at? Does he see my situation? Does he care? Does he know what's going on? I think Hagar may have been asking some of those questions, but the resounding answer is yes, God knows your situation. And here's how Hagar found that out. See, in the midst of that loneliness, in the midst of that situation, God sought her out. God called her by name. He said, Hagar. He said, servant of Sarah. He knew not only her name, he knew who she was. And then he asked the question, where have you come from? Where are you going? Not because he didn't know, but because he wanted her to know, I care about your past, but I also care about your future. And so God speaks to Hagar right there in the midst of her um, difficulty. And another thing that he does is he tells her he knows the future. He sees her situation. He goes and he says, I know that you've got this baby. I know his name. It's going to be Ishmael. I know the plans I have for him. He's going to become a great nation. And so he tells Hagar to go back and to deal with the situation at home. But in the midst of it, he says, I see you, Hagar. I see your situation. I see the difficulty that you're going through. I see your future and I'm in control. And so what Hagar does is in response to meeting God here is she says that God is El Roy. He is the God who sees. And so she found comfort in the fact that God knew who she was. God saw who she was. God saw her situation. God saw her future. He loved her. He cared about her. He, see, he saw what she was going through. And so maybe you're going through a difficulty today. Maybe in the midst of this coronavirus, you say, God, do you not see what's going on? He sees. Maybe you're dealing with a tough family situation and you might say, God, do you not see what I'm going through? He sees. Maybe you're just lonely and you just don't feel like anyone cares. God, do you see me? He does. So what I want you to do this week is just read back through Genesis chapter 16. And if you want to, go ahead and read Psalm 139, a psalm that just talks about that no matter where we go, God sees us. We can't escape his presence. He loves us that much. Another thing I want to encourage you to do is to just find somebody in your life this week that you might think not many people pay attention to. Maybe somebody who seems lonely, who seems discouraged. And I want you to just say, I see you. Write them a note. Give them a call. Um, send them something in the mail that just says, I see you. I care about you. I love you. And in that way, we can represent who God is to those around us. So hope that's an encouragement to you this week to understand that God is a God who sees. God is a God who loves us. And no matter what our situation, he knows it and he sees it. We'll see you guys next week.